<laughs> Whatever you say. Goku, watch yourself and keep calm. We all know you can do this. Let me come with you. The three of us together could whip that guy easy. Sorry, Krillin, but you've already been brought back to life by Shenron once before. If anything were to happen to you now, you'd be gone for good. Maybe so, but don't let yourself get killed, Goku, or we're all dead. Master Roshi's right. Let us back you up if you need it. Krillin. Master Roshi, you're the best. We better head out. Bulma, got the Dragon Raider all working? You bet. I should have realized that was the four-star Dragon Ball on Gohan's hat. All right. It's all or nothing now. Goku, wait! Bulma, let's follow them. Say what? Kakarot, I thought you'd at least be smarter than this, but you have no idea how out of your league you are. You know, believe it or not, battles aren't just about raw strength. We'll see how long your strategicness keeps you alive. I'm sorry, brother. I was thinking about my offer and I've changed my mind. You'd probably just slow the rest of us down. And for betraying the Saiyan race, you will die! <laughs> Since you're going to be eradicated anyway, let me share a little something with you. The two Saiyans I mentioned earlier, they're even more powerful than me. <laughs> <laughs> you could train yourself for a lifetime and never even come close to their level. But since you were too stupid to heed my warning, you're not going to survive another day anyhow. How about this? Considering how you managed to beat me last time, I'm gonna see if you've gotten any tougher. So don't you disappoint me. Got it, Goku? Piccolo! If you've got a new special attack hidden up your sleeve, now's the time to use it, Goku. <laughs> Sorry, nope. <laughs> Lazy fool. Meanwhile, I've been training non-stop to develop a sure kill technique. <sighs> So you've been developing a new technique, too? And just when I thought I might have closed the gap between us. Wait, you got a new move, too? Yeah, but, uh, mine's, uh... What the? Power level 1,307?
Okay. I'll leave Gohan's training to you. Goku? Are you nuts? I know. The old Piccolo was once our greatest enemy, but this one? After what happened today, I think we can trust him. Know what I mean? He's right. If it wasn't for Piccolo, we'd all be dead. And we've got a mutual enemy, so we could use all the help we can get. Gohan, what do you want to do? Piccolo is an amazing fighter, and if you ask me, I think he might actually be a good guy. Well, I... I want to be strong like you, Dad. So I'll do it. I'll learn how to fight with Mr. Piccolo. Well, if you're that eager, then there's no time like the present. Teach him everything you know, Piccolo. Wow, you guys have been training hard, huh? You bet. Gotta do our best to catch up with you. I finally finished developing that technique I was teasing before. Can't wait to show you. We're treating today's training as serious as the real battle to come. And we'll showcase all we've learned in preparation. How should we proceed, Goku? Krillin, you want to train with me? You bet. Now you won't have to wait to see my new moves. This will be great. <laughs> Just like old times. As you back to the drawing board I'll be killing Kakarot first! Don't get cocky because you defeated Raditz! I'm twice as powerful as that rat! Take this! Ah, me! Ah, 
Gogeta. Help me! <laughs> I have no use for a paralyzed Saiyan. Why would you kill your own partner? <laughs> because I wouldn't be caught dead associating with someone who would be taken down by such low-class warriors. You really get on my nerves. You ought to show some more respect to others than that. Respect? <laughs> You're a poor excuse for a Saiyan. Ah, <laughs> oh, so you're a Namekian. Namekian? Yes, Namekian people are said to have mysterious hidden abilities. Magical ones, in fact. I see. You must have been the one who created these Dragon Balls, aren't you? Wouldn't you like to know? Take this, We're settling this right here and now! I'm the Prince of Saiyans! How can he hurt me?! Gohan turned into one of these hulking things, but this is a hundred times worse. I finally figured it out. The monster that stomped my grandpa Gohan to death. It smashed up the tournament arena all those years ago. That... that was me, wasn't it? I might as well let you know. The power level of a Saiyan when they transformed into a grade 8 is ten times their normal strength. Crap! Just when I thought you couldn't get any more powerful don't give up goku it might look hopeless but we've survived this far krillin not just me bud yamcha and chaozu and gohan we're all with you krillin what are you thinking 
Why would you bring them all here now? Because it's all or nothing at this point. Plus, I've got a plan, and I need everyone to pull it off. I'll vaporize you! We're settling this right here and now! Now, all three of us need to hit him with a solar flare! His paralysis is working! Okay, this is our chance, guys! We did it! Guys! We really did it! We actually managed to beat that guy, and we did it together! <laughs> yeah, we did, but I don't have much left in me after all that. He put up a good fight, but we were more than prepared for him. Huh? The, the Saiyan! Don't worry, Gohan. He can't hurt you now. You were the worst enemy we ever faced. But I guess the least we can do is give you a burial. Who's burying whom? Huh? Filthy Namekian! What do you hope to do with such little- mm -hmm. Now! Piccolo! Do it! Special Beam Cannon! you just let him go I know it's selfish but I don't I don't want him to die <laughs> we'll bring Goku back to life with the Dragon Balls and the next time we meet you're going down for good
Vegeta! I didn't expect to face you again so soon. Kakarot! If you've been revived, that means the Dragon Balls really do live up to the rumors. That's good! Listen up, all of you! If you don't want to die, you need to let me use these Dragon Balls to become immortal! <coughs> if you don't believe me, believe this! The Dragon Balls are being sought after by Frieza, the self-proclaimed Emperor of the Universe! F frieza And I can assure you, not a single Earthling could ever match his power! Frieza is considered absolutely invincible! But if I'm granted immortality, I can kill him and spare all your lives! So if you know what's good for you, hand over the Dragon Balls! You, you gotta be kidding me! After what you did to Goku, why would we ever let you make a wish on the Dragon Balls? Yeah, no offense, but I find it hard to believe there's anyone who could be stronger than Goku anyway. Vegeta, even if you're telling the truth, I'm still not gonna let you use the Dragon Balls. And besides, the Earth is ours to defend! <laughs> Fine, then I'll just have to take them by force. Hey guys, if it's okay, could you leave this one to me? You got it. We're counting on you, Goku. Vegeta, I can tell you've gotten even stronger than last time. Am I right? Naturally. You see, every time Saiyans recover from the brink of death, they grow more and more powerful. So don't even think this is going to go the same way as last time. <laughs> I'm not dumb enough to underestimate you like that. If anything, I was going to say the exact same thing to you. Silence! I'm no ordinary Saiyan. I'm no prince of all Saiyans. Leagues upon leagues ahead of you! I've got you! I'm not done yet, Kame! Kame! Share your energy with me! Kakarot, what would you say to forming a temporary alliance with me to defeat Frieza? An alliance? It will still take some time before Frieza arrives on your planet. If the two of us train until then, we might be able to take him down together. Hold on. If this Frieza person is aiming to attack Earth, then how did you manage to get here before him? Frieza travels in a gargantuan mothership, so my more compact space pod allow me to land here much quicker. None of this changes the fact that we can't trust you. Guys, I think Vegeta's actually telling us the truth. I don't think he'd ever sacrifice his pride as a Saiyan warrior to lie about somebody being stronger than him. Out of anything, I think he'd much sooner die trying to steal the Dragon Balls than sacrifice his pride. Th then there really is someone stronger than you and Vegeta? And they want to conquer Earth? I believe you. And I think we have no other choice but to join forces.
So, which one of you wants to die next? Don't start getting a swollen head just because you beat Quee, Vachita! Dodori and Zarbon! I might have known you'd show your sorry faces. You're even more foolish than I thought, Vegeta. Did you think teaming up with these Earthlings would put you on equal footing with Frieza? <laughs> then you're as foolish as I thought if you think I'd be relying on Earthlings. Wait. I recall Lord Frieza saying something about a Saiyan survivor that had been sent to the distant blue planet, Earth. A Saiyan who was raised on Earth? That'd be me. <laughs> a couple of monkeys flocking together. If the Saiyan race couldn't survive a little meteor, what makes you think you could survive against us? <laughs> Let's just make the last two idiots go extinct! You know that won't work. I'm getting excited. Oh, fine. Since you can't finish the job, allow me. Get ready to see my real strength! Useless! Yeah. Your energy with me for a spirit bomb. Done. This doesn't make any sense. How the hell did a couple of Saiyans get this strong? Lord Frieza must be informed of this at once. Won't even get the chance! First blood is mine to draw. Remember, Guldo, orders were to only kill one of them each. Don't get greedy. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Hi. I'll give you one last chance to leave this planet peacefully. I'd take it if I were you. What did you say? Ha <laughs> ha! What a gentleman this guy is, Guldo. Caring about your well-being. Damn Saiyans for getting their place. I'm gonna show you why the whole galaxy fears the Ginyu Force. Yeah! 
way too easy on these morons. Maggots clearly don't understand, so I shall illustrate. We are the best of the best of the Frieza Force! Nay, the entire galaxy! Raccoon! Beta! Jice! Buldo! Ginyu! Now, men, slaughter them all with style. Goku, you okay? I've got the little guy taken care of. Hey now, it's bad manners to interrupt somebody's business. Your energy with me for a spirit bomb. Tougher than I thought. I'll kill you quick. You're not taking another step, Goku. This one will be my opponent. Yes, I'll be having the leftovers then. Hey, Raccoon, you owe me another chocolate parfait for being such a team player. I'm not done. I'm getting excited. Goku the new fastest in the universe. 
Being a number two fits you pretty well, though. Crush that ball! Shut your face! Boy, are you gonna waste the whole rest of the day on these piss ants? All right, I'm jumping in! Done! This is absurd! The Ginyu Force is unstoppable! Unstoppable, I tell you! Now I can know how strong Vegeta truly is, with a first-hand experience! Vegeta! What do you think you're doing?! Oh, Ginyu, before exterminating the Earthlings, you should take care of that other Saiyan first. Yes, my lord. That's Ginyu? W what the hell's going on? Is Vegeta betraying us or what? I'm not sure, but we have to keep on fighting or we're toast! Injure my body! Is that... Can you? Wait, your body? No, no way! Slow on the uptake, aren't we? Yes, my special power allows me to swap bodies with another. Vegeta's strength is mine to wield! Alright, let's go! Pardon me, Captain Ginyu. Have you forgotten my orders to obtain the Dragon Balls? No, of course not, Lord Frieza. But I haven't yet located anyone with a power... But, but why? Even using Vegeta's body, why can't I kill you? There's no other choice, then. I'll just take your body instead! Change now! Kakarot, get out of the way! Whoa. <laughs> I 
I knew you'd use your power again soon enough. You've outlived your usefulness, Vegeta! I'll wind up with a lower power level. But desperate times call for desperate measures! Change now! Stop! You froze for a second. What happened? That technique, it must be. Chotsu! You wish to do battle with me one on one? <laughs> I have never encountered such an overconfident imbecile in my whole life. <laughs> I'll let you in on something, Kakarot. Frieza's race can transform to become stronger. Well, someone's done his homework, hasn't he? So you know my little secret? Let's just say some of your elite soldiers have loose lips. He can transform? You mean like that great ape stunt you pulled? You mustn't put me in the same league as your hideous transformation. In my case, I'm merely holding back the full force of my awesome power. If that's the case, go ahead and transform. I wouldn't want you to feel the shame of being defeated without being at your full strength. Oh, you're going to suffer dearly for such an insult. Rejoice. You will have the honor of being killed by my transformed state! Now, feast your eyes! What incredible energy! His power is practically doubled! You're in for it now. My second form makes the one you're familiar with look as gentle as a sleeping kitty. My turn to fight back. You're finished! I'm not done yet. This is taking longer than I wanted. Kakarot! Vegeta! <laughs> Are you afraid? Have you realized that even combined, your power pales in comparison to mine? Kakarot! Even you wouldn't be stupid enough to fight Frieza if you didn't think you had a chance of winning! Yeah, that's right. If I use my spirit bomb technique... I think I can beat him, but even then, it's got such a slim chance of working. Gathering enough energy for it takes more time than we have. What? The, what the hell are you going to do? I'm not risking the others' lives in this battle, so if we don't have an opening, I'm just gonna have to make one. Idiot. 
It's a futile effort. Neither you nor I have any chance of beating him. How could a low-class warrior like you ever hope to topple Frieza? It's been amusing, but I've grown tired of this charade. So I believe it's time to end this poor excuse for a battle. And my reward to you for all your valiant efforts. The privilege of seeing my final transformation. My true power! Now get ready! The wait is over. Now I will show you a terror far greater than hell itself. What are you waiting for? Eat that last sensu bean and be quick about it! Vegeta! But, but what about... Just eat the damn thing before I burn it to ashes with the last of my strength! Forgive me, Vegeta. Don't shut up. You're far more wounded than I am. Don't start giving me your worthless sympathy. You're nothing like any Saiyan I've ever met in my entire life. Warrior fights to protect people they care about. Such a nature was frowned upon in our culture. Vegeta? You still will understand what it means to be a Saiyan. So now I'll set the example. You'll never learn when it's time to lay down and die, will you? Vegeta! Sucks that the biggest drawback to making a strong enough spirit grow. Is how long it takes to gather the energy. Vegeta may not last long against Frieza. Please, Goku, take my energy as well. Bang. Kami? I feel it. It's not much, but every little bit helps. Right, buddy? We're fighting alongside you. Oh. What's this? Is that what I think it is? I, I've never seen a mass of energy that size. <laughs> How unfortunate for you. Don't you hate it when a plan falls apart? I know I certainly do, but nice try. No! No, damn it! Special beam, come on! Gohan! Piccolo! What are you doing here? How is that brat? And that Namekian still drawing breath? I thought they'd been taken care of! I'm beset on all sides by sneaky parasitic flies! You just won't rest until I've been pushed to the limits of my patience! You meddling brats! I hope you all enjoy suffering the same fate as this planet! <sighs> okay, it's finally ready! Do it! Go, go! go! Yeah! What have you done? This is child's play! Your beastly tricks their futile! I will not!
This is where our alliance ends, Kakarot. I will no longer be fighting alongside you people. And mark my words, one day soon I will defeat you. Seriously? Ugh, I was this close to inviting him to the victory party too. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe he'll show up when the party starts. I think we're growing on him. Actually, the next time we see Vegeta, I think he'll be intending to fight us for real. What? And like you said, who knows? Don't scare me like that, Goku! <laughs> At the very least, Frieza and his army won't be a threat to Earth anymore. Yeah, and if Vegeta does come back, I doubt it'll be anytime soon. Yeah. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I'm totally starving! Thanks to the bravery of Goku and the others, Frieza is defeated. The planet Earth and the whole galaxy are at peace for now. The war was won, but the battles are far from over, for there are many other fearsome foes looming on the horizon. For Goku and the rest of our heroes, the saga continues. Here goes! Oh, Kakarot! I thought you'd at least be smarter than this! But you have no idea how out of your league you are. Let's skip the pleasantries. We're here to take you down. Simple as that. I'm sorry, brother. I was thinking about my offer and I've changed my mind. You'd probably just slow the rest of us down. And for betraying the Saiyan race, you will die! <laughs> Since you're going to be eradicated anyway, let me share a little something with you. The two Saiyans I mentioned earlier, they're even more powerful than me. <laughs> you could train yourself for a lifetime and never even come close to their level. But since you were too stupid to heed my warning, you're not going to survive another day anyhow. How about this? What was that? If you've got a new special attack hidden up your sleeve, now's the time to use it, Goku. <laughs> Sorry, nope. <laughs> Lazy fool. Meanwhile, I've been training non-stop to develop a sure kill technique. For real? Yeah. Only problem is it takes some time to charge up before I can use it. So I'm gonna need you to fight him alone until then, if you can handle it. Gotcha. I'll take care of him. All right. How about this? I don't think he's got the will to fight anymore. <laughs> Someone who'd want to kill all my friends and family is no brother of mine. Now you better get the hell off this planet and never come back here again. Go on. You're going to be okay. <laughs> You're the poorest excuse for a Saiyan that I've ever seen! 
Now I'll teach you how a real warrior should act! Say your prayers. What is he? The hell? Special Beam Cannon! Faster! Damn it! Beaten by a filthy maggot! You saved my life, Piccolo. If you hadn't made a perfect shot, I'd be lying on the ground with him. <laughs> well, truth be told, I'd rather you both be dead and on the ground. But your friends would just revive you with the Dragon Balls shortly after anyway. The... the Dragon Balls? Yeah. All seven combined have the power to grant any wish. Even if it's bringing someone dead back to life. You can all go to hell. Still, I thank you for the information. <laughs> Everything that has happened here today has been transmitted to my two Saiyan comrades deep in outer space. When they've learned that I've been killed, they'll come to avenge me. Uh, wait! The other two Saiyans! When are they gonna get here? One year. Just one short year. <laughs> Damn. T two of them? Even stronger than him? How sweet does that victory taste now? They're going to wipe you all out. They'll soon have you writhing in agony like the worms you are. <laughs> Gohan, let's see when I do a little sparring. What do you say? Really? With you, Dad? Of course! You've already gotten way stronger than me when I was your age. We just need to keep up your training. Don't you agree, Piccolo? Oh, sure. But he'd be a lot stronger than that if he wasn't being spoiled so much. Aw, don't be like that. What are you so nervous about? <sighs> Come on, Gohan! Buck up! Right. Thank you very much for the opportunity! Energy. Looks like they got here earlier than expected. Dad! I'll go get some sensu beans from Corn Tower. Piccolo, keep an eye on him for me. That's a massive energy I'm sensing! It started already, hasn't it? Ah! Yamcha! Dad! You're a lifesaver, Goku! Goku? Of course, you must be Kakarot. You've got a lot of power. <laughs> I can tell just by looking at you. Goku, let me back you up! 
Let's clean up this mess in one fell swoop. Yeah. Chaozu, Tien needs one of those sensu beans, quick! Uh, right! G Goku! Your fight's with me now! Ha ha ha! Better make it a good one then. Oh, wow! I feel even stronger than I did before! Mr. Piccolo! Piccolo! <laughs> what a moron! Only thing he changed was the order I'm killing you in! Go on! Take Piccolo and leave! Get as far away from here as you can! 
I can't afford to lose you! Dad! Let's do what he says, kiddo. If we head back to Kame House, Bulma should be able to preserve Piccolo's body. Yamcha, make sure Gohan's kept safe. I promise. Don't go dying on me! Who does this guy think he is? Waltzing up to me like it's nothing! As I thought, he's grown stronger after having his wounds healed. But how he's recovered so quickly is cause for concern. It might be too late, Goku. Even if Piccolo's body is preserved, he... I know. Which means the Dragon Balls would be gone forever, too. No, it's not hopeless. Even if he dies, there's still a way. Uh, a way to do what? Before you guys got here, those aliens referred to Piccolo as a Namekian. I realized something important as a result. I'll explain all the details later, but for now... Yeah, we gotta focus on winning this fight first! Ha! <laughs> you can save some time and attack all at once! Just another few bodies for the pile! Guys! Don't do anything crazy! Right. Damn it! If only Yamcha were here too! Huh? Hey, where did Shoutsu go? Just cause you could get back up again, doesn't mean you should! Get ready to see my real strength! I don't know how exactly he was able to heal up so fast. But as I thought, Kakarot's strength has already increased. After all, the Saiyans grow more powerful every time we return from the brink of death. Could he have somehow known that about his heritage? I have no use for a paralyzed Saiyan. You're dead weight! Uh, he's a psycho! He, he, he just killed his own partner for no reason! We have to face facts. This other one is way out of our league. Forgive me, guys. But I want to face off against him one-on-one! -on -one. Goku! I get you. Let him have this, Tien. You said it yourself. He's too strong for us to even be able to lend a hand. Yeah, but... Yo! Let's finish this someplace else! Fine by me makes no difference. Now, allow me to show you a wall that no amount of hard work will help you climb! Become a great ape and grind you to a pulp! A great ape? What are you talking about? Wait a damn second! This planet's moon should be visible, but I can't see it anywhere! You clever snake Kakarot! You destroyed the moon before I even set foot on the battlefield! I did not! I said it before, I don't even know what you're going on about! Never mind. As luck would have it, I come with my own backup source of moonlight! Your lack of knowledge will be your undoing. 
Now watch as my Powerball substitutes as a full moon to spark a transformation beyond your wildest dreams! Transformation? Now you're dead! First open and mix! <laughs> now I'll finish. Tommy, Tommy! <laughs> What the hell's going on here? So, so he's some kind of like great ape monster? Yeah! I've got you. I'll break you. Thank you, Chaozu. Good thing you had those sensu beans on you. But Tien. Prelin. Uh. Oh, gonna revive your friend again? Or have you learned to let the weak stay dead? Maybe now you understand what it means to be a Saiyan, Kakarot. Damn! I'm all out of sense of beans. Well then, it's time for me to conclude this battle. And you'll be reunited with your friends in one more painful moment. What? dead. The Dragon Balls are gone. And Krillin! He's already been killed once and can never be revived again! I will never, ever forgive you for this! <laughs> A magical change of hair color doesn't undo the fact that I bore out class you! We'll see about that. <laughs> Oh, now you've suddenly grown a spine. Every word that escapes your mouth infuriates me all the same. All right, let's find the strongest fighter in the universe. Take this. Yeah. 
Get ready to see my real strength. No, that would be impossible. There's no way. But those were just old stories. And even if they're true, only an elite warrior like myself can ascend to those heights. Not some fool like Kakarot. I am the culmination of everything superior in the Saiyan race. It is my right to become the legendary Super Saiyan. Yo! That's it. We're settling this right here and now! How can I be reduced to this? It's inconceivable! I never want to see you on this planet again. And I shall never forget this humiliation. My, my words, Kakarot. I too will surpass the limits of what a Saiyan can do. I'm sorry I can't go with you, but promise me you'll come back with the Dragon Balls, so we can wish back Mr. Piccolo and the others. You got it, Gohan. Wait! Please don't run away! Eek! It's okay! I'm not gonna eat you or anything! Huh? Hey! Who, who the hell are you? Are you with him? Those must be the Namekian Dragon Balls I saw on my radar! They're way huger than the ones on Earth! If you're after these, then you must be with him! Who's him? What do you mean? Get him! This will end it. Energy. Vegeta!
With Frieza out of the way, my fight is with you now, Kakarot! Now become a Super Saiyan immediately! What do you think, Kakarot? Now I too can transform into the legendary Super Saiyan! <laughs> oh, I see. This little guy's an Amekian. To bring everyone back to life, I have no choice but to take down Vegeta. What are you waiting for? Turn Super Saiyan! Or would you rather just lay down and die? <laughs> Is this what you wanted? <laughs> Indeed. For killing you in this state is the only way to reclaim my honor. I pushed myself to the verge of death to improve my strength. But despite my greatest efforts, I knew deep down that I still hadn't reached your level. But then, out of the endless rage invoked by the humiliation you left me after our last battle, I became a Super Saiyan and killed Frieza with my own two hands! And so I thank you, Kakarot. Now I'm mad! Well, now that you've achieved this strength, what do you even need the Dragon Balls for? Why bother killing innocent people like the Namekians? Simple, because the universe has no room for the weak. So why don't you join me? Nothing will be out of your grasp. What do you say, Kakarot? I have everything I could ever need, Vegeta. <laughs> Get ready to see my real strength! You No! Damn it all! Even as a Super Saiyan, I'm still inferior to this low-class clown! To truly be a Super Saiyan, you've got to be pure of heart, awakened by fury. That's what I am. Your rage alone helped you reach the transformation but you still lack what it takes to unlock its real power. If you're taking your leave, you had better finish me off this time! Oh, I'm not killing you. And no, it's not to make you feel any sense of shame. What? It's because I want to fight with you again someday. So the next time you feel ready, you can bet I'll be ready too. Kakarot, you're a true Saiyan after all. Then the next time we cross paths, I'll be stronger. Strong enough to crush you once and for all! And so, Goku and Vegeta's Super Saiyan rematch comes to an end. Our hero looks on as his newfound rival takes his leave of Planet Namek. Goku triumphantly returns home to Earth to celebrate with his family and friends, their world now at peace. As Goku continues to improve himself, one must wonder, how much stronger will he become? Only time and his next challenge will tell. underestimate the game, you fools! Yeah! 
So, this is the guy, huh? His power level's only around 5,000. That's him, Captain. Don't be fooled. This freak's way stronger than that. He must be capable of boosting his strength in the midst of combat. From what I can tell, I'd say his true power level is somewhere around 60,000. S- 60,000? But that can't be. This guy's just a puny Saiyan. It's not unheard of. He could have a natural talent, or perhaps his abilities have been amplified by a mutation like us. Either way, this battle's sure to be interesting. To think I'd find an opponent that I can finally demonstrate my full power on. So, are we gonna dance or fight? <laughs> Have fun, Kakarot! Petita! <laughs> this is gonna be good! Captain <laughs> Ginyu, sir! I will assist! Damn it! Without Vegeta, this isn't exactly gonna be a cakewalk! I don't remember asking for help, Birder! I'm perfectly capable of fighting my own battles! But in again, and it'll be you I pulverize! Understood? <laughs> Your strength is unbelievable. Yeah, I think I'll take it. What do you mean by that? Change now! Guys, listen! That's not me, it's Ginyu! Using my body! Vegeta, why? They couldn't even defend themselves! Shut up! You're too soft-hearted, Kakarot! It's kill or be killed! Now it's time to finish the job! Now die! Fool! Change now! Please let this work! What? Oh no! B bastard! How dare you! You ruined everything! I'm back to being me again! What? What the hell is going on? What does Kakarot think he's doing? I better swap with a fresh body and quick! Yours will do, Vegeta! Oh? Or nothing! <laughs> what in the world? Whew! That was a close one. I don't know if I've ever felt this excited about the prospect of a battle in my entire life. Now I only need to decide how I kill you. Here I am. Let's 
to go. I was really hoping I wouldn't have to rely on this again. If I want to win this fight, my only choice is to gather enough energy for a spirit bomb. Why you? You don't bother. Decent plan. Yeah. Bang. Possible. This can't be happening to me. Let's go home. Lucky us, my little spaceship should be able to get us back in just under six days. Uh, Bulma's out there somewhere. I totally forgot. Come on, Krillin, don't freak me out like that. From the look on your face, I thought Freeze had popped back up. Yeah, well, just trust me. He's, uh, got nothing on her when she's ticked off. <laughs> don't make me laugh. My body's already mad enough at me as it is. Planet Namek endured so much strife. But perhaps, at the very least, the Grand Elder and my ancient kinsmen can at last rest peacefully. Huh? How exactly do you know about the Grand Elder? Don't lose hope, Piccolo. Now that you're alive again, we can use the Earth's Dragon Balls to bring everybody else back to life. <clears throat> and when we get back, I'd like to speak with Kami about giving Vegeta another chance as well. You still want to fight against him, don't you? <laughs> well, I did make him a promise. <laughs> Ouch. Goku and his friends have defeated the evil Emperor, Frieza. Along with Bulma, the five of them triumphantly return home to Earth. my instant transmission, I might be able to get Piccolo out of there. Thanks, Dad. Please save him. Gohan, try to sense his energy signal. You're right, I can still feel it. Mr. Piccolo is alive! I'll buy us some time. While I do, you rescue Piccolo and hurry back here. But be careful! Uh, okay! You're Goku, aren't you? That's funny. How did you get here all of a sudden? I hadn't felt the faintest trace of your energy. That's for me to know. And you to find out. Hilarious. Well, finding out isn't exactly high on my to-do list. It hardly matters anyway, since you'll soon be more bio-extract for me to drink up. Go ahead and try me then, Cell. Out of my way, Goku. 
This freak is mine to deal with, not yours. Whoa! I'm not done yet. I'm here, Goku. Let me back you up. Thank you, Tien. You fool. So there you Goku, killing you will have to wait. I cannot allow number 17 to be absorbed. 16? You're actually gonna fight too? By my calculations, Cell and I are approximately equal in power. What? Listen, your bodies are way too injured to be fighting right now. I'm not going anywhere, so why don't you rest up and we can do this another time? The hell are you talking about? These little scrapes are nothing. We could still take you easy. Yeah, don't throw me any sympathy. I haven't had a scratch. What's that supposed to mean? Well, not naming numbers, but one of us was hogging all the action and ended up with a couple boo-boos. So step aside and let a lady stretch her legs. <laughs> yeah, whatever. You got any problems with that, 16? Negative. Good. Glad we're on the same page. Tianchen Han, would you let me take this one on my own? Of course. Just be careful, Goku. Hey, I don't give a crap. Go ahead. You can both attack at the same time. It's no skin off my back. No way! You being as strong as you are is actually why I want to fight you one on one! I want to test out if my current skill level matches up with yours. That's all. <laughs> Don't start getting ahead of yourself. Get ready to see my real strength! You've got to be kidding. Here it goes! You 
wasn't expecting this today. Ugh, that's enough. Now my clothes are all dirty. Wait, you're done? That was so quick! Untouchable as I am, I don't get that much of a kick out of fighting. Had enough time to lick your wounds? <laughs> you know androids don't run out of energy like that. I swear, you're the naggiest sibling in the world. They're putting up a much better fight now. Must have really got their head back in the game. Maybe from watching me against 18. Gotta say, Goku, you're as impressive a martial artist as the doctor said. That, and you're not nearly as annoying as that hothead, Vegeta. You kept your cool throughout that whole fight with 18, too. Making an android with unlimited energy sweat is quite an accomplishment. I've never had more fun. Only let my guard down for a second, but you're something else. Think I'm a little burnt out on all the fighting today. Let's get out of here. What's the deal? We going or what? What? <laughs> Sixteen. What got into you all of a sudden? You look pissed. My mission is to kill Goku, and I intend to accomplish it. Dude, chill. I will end your existence for it is the only purpose of my existence. Everyone and everything else is secondary. <clears throat> then it's now or never.
Luigi with me! For a spirit bomb! Done! It all comes down to this. <clears throat> Don't you dare, 16. I'm not letting you blow yourself up. <sighs> Don't tell me. You have a self-destruct device inside of you as well? I... I told you both before. My sole mission is to kill Goku, at any cost. Then why haven't you already? You could wipe this entire island off the map with that explosion. <clears throat> That's enough! You can't beat me in the state you're in now. <laughs> and besides, you don't really seem like a bad guy. Even if you're technically a robot, I could feel your intent to kill. But if it really is your mission, why didn't you go for it during the fight with Cell? Instead, you chose to defend your fellow androids, which means... It's simple. There is much wildlife living all around this island. I did not want to obstruct nature with the fallout of our battles. But hear me, Goku. One day, I will fulfill my purpose. You took care not to harm any innocent life, animal nor human. I believe you are both good people. I have enjoyed traveling together. Well, who says we can't still keep doing it? Then you know what? Let's have our first stop by the mall. I'm in desperate need of some new, less filthy clothes. <laughs> It looks like the battle is over. Yep. Goku! Where's Cell? And the androids! And, uh, uh, 18! You, uh, you didn't defeat them all already, did you? Well, I think they'll be back. Huh? <laughs> In the wake of Cell's defeat, the three androids depart. Peace is once again restored, thanks to Goku and his friends. Someday, these powerful artificial humans may show their faces again. But when they do, will they be friend or foe? Whatever the outcome, Goku is sure to be stronger than ever and ready to defend the world. Yeah! 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 
Forget it. I'm not done yet. I was hoping for better. No. This... This is... Impossible! Guess I was wrong, Cell. Turns out I was just a little bit stronger than you after all. Okay, sweetheart? Are you hurt? No, I'm okay, but... Wait, where's Goku? Dad is... No, don't tell me he's... Hey, sorry I'm late. I was talking to Krillin and the others for a sec. Goku, you're alive! Of course I am, Chi-Chi. Oh... My... Boys are both home safe! Alright, Margin Boo, kill this guy first. Right now! Who hear you first time? Come on, big guy! Why is somebody as strong as you taking orders from a shrimp like Bobbin? Nobody asked for your opinion. Martin Boo is my loyal servant, and he obeys my every command if he knows what's good for him. Tried the golden hair trick, and look what happened to him. Hold on. There's regular old Super Saiyan. Then there's a level beyond Super Saiyan. But further beyond that. Sorry this took so much longer than the others, but I haven't had as much practice with this one. This is what I call Super Saiyan 3. Who like you? And who really like fighting you? Who want to fight more? <laughs> I consider it an honor. What are you waiting for, Margin Boo? Finish off this long-haired cretin already! We've got places to be! It's unbelievable! The dreaded Majin Buu living a peaceful, carefree life on a planet he once threatened? I never could have expected this outcome. Yeah, it's crazy, all right. But I'm really, really glad it worked out this way. It would have been such a shame for him to just die. Yeah, how do you figure? Well, Majin Buu was so strong that he could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me. 
even in my Super Saiyan 3 form, right? Think of how great a rival he'd be for the next generation of fighters, like Gohan and Goten. Plus, most of my fiercest rivals are now some of my best friends. <laughs> I tell you, you might be the only guy in the whole universe who'd think a planet-destroying freak of nature would be a shame to let die. I'm serious, though. Honestly, I don't even think Boo would have been a bad guy to begin with if he wasn't manipulated by somebody as evil as Bobbity. <laughs> you may be right. Your track record shows you know how to bring out the good and even some of the worst people. <laughs> I just do what I do. With everything settled down now, it would have been really cool to fight Majin Buu at full power just one more time. But hey, maybe it'll happen someday. Would you mind piping down? <laughs> I knew it! You've been holding something back, haven't you? That's well deduced for a simpleton. I've held back just like you. Then let's both go all in. No tricks, no reserves. All right, now it's your turn. Let's see this new power of yours. Care to cut to the chase, do we? Very well, then I won't hold anything back either. Now brace yourself. Behold my newfound evolution. I know gold's a bit gauche, but I wanted to ensure you grasp my new position atop the pecking order. And for the sake of your feeble mind, let's keep the name simple as well. We'll call this Golden Freezer. Golden Freezer? Farewell, Goku. I can't say it's been a pleasure. I'm not normally one. <laughs> you fools! You... you fools! It's over, Frieza! Once and for all! I couldn't have put it better myself! Sure, you would have asked by now, Goku. Aren't you concerned about your family? My family? Yeah. Where well, does one begin such a gripping tale? After I collected the Super Dragon Balls and switched bodies with you, I went to Earth to check to make sure we had really switched. 
And there I found you. You were shocked to find yourself in my body. Your family was terrified. Damn you! What about Titi? And Goten! Oh, sure. You can guess that much, Goku. You monster! You pay for that! You took my body! You took my life! And then you even killed Chi-Chi and Goten! You're gonna regret telling me that, Zamasu! Cause now I'm mad! Now I'm really, really mad! And now it's time to pay! For Chi Chi and Goten! Do not tell gods what to do! This is just the start! Divine rage into power. I have forged a new instrument with which to destroy you. This sun will carve a reminder into your mortal flesh of the strength of my divine wrath. <laughs> Just as we foresaw, fighting this formidable Saiyan blight has carried us both to new heights. This proves our transformative power. Our destiny is to cast judgment upon all creation. I'm not done yet. I can use it. Hold it! <laughs> What's the matter, mortals? Relax. Don't be afraid. I thought you Saiyans loved fighting the strongest. <laughs> He's weak. Trunks must have done something. <sighs> How did you disgrace yourself against those mortals? You pathetic, lowly mortals. Ha! Me! Ha! Me! Ha! Kneel before our radiance. This game is over. You shall kneel before our radiance. Justice Get together! Thus begins a new world. Show your reverence and bow down before our splendor. Worship. Give praise unto me. Me, the beautiful, the sublime. Me, the invincible, the almighty one. All hail, Somers. Trunks, keep Bulma safe. Right. I'm going all out. It's a great honor to fall at the hands of a god, is it? You cannot keep up with me. What? Break through the limit. Vegeta, are you all right? Yeah, we're a little banged up. But I think we're okay, at least for now. 
After fusing, he now possesses indestructibility and Saiyan strength. How could you surpass that? Who knows? But no matter what, I will make him pay for it. I know it's strange me showing up like this out of nowhere, but I need to see just how strong you are. I'm looking for powerful allies. <laughs> Fight me, Seventeen! Let's see what you've got! I've been on an island doesn't mean I've been taking it easy. The problem for you is I've gotten stronger too. If you were fighting the old me, you might have a chance. Have some of this! enough for now. If we continue this, we could destroy the island. Whoa! You didn't say you had three kids! One's ours and two are adopted. What do you want, Goku? I know you didn't come to this island just to get an update on my personal life. <laughs> you got me. Well, there's this thing called the Tournament of Power. And you're asking me to leave my responsibilities here to fight in this tournament? Yep. You in? I'm not. Hey, don't do this to me. Everyone's fate depends on this tournament. Wait, what? What aren't you telling me about this? <sighs> well... Gohan made me promise not to tell any of the recruits, but here's the truth. If we lose the tournament, our universe will be destroyed. If we're doomed, so be it. Obliteration for all, not just the helpless. That's a fate I can accept. All right, fine, I'm in. I'll join your team for the tournament. I don't like being in debt to anybody. Wow, do you mean it? That's great!
Dad, Tien, my power is back. And now I need to test it. My turn now. Oh, easy. Didn't you hear me say this is a training match? Oh, I heard you. I'm raring to go. Don't make a sound, or it might be your last. Over here! my act together. Nice up. I sure could learn something from you. And the way you fight. What's wrong? Combination, guys. I guess with the two of you, you've got a shot. I'm not even at full power yet. Here we go. Take this. Got a little something for you. This is everyone's power. The spirit job. could learn something from you and the way you fight Fighter. It's like the first time he fought Jiren, and when he fought Kefla. I'd say that this match is about to get a serious shakeup. He cannot afford another misstep. I'm quite sure this will be his last chance. Each time he defies his physical limits and forces himself to fight like a god, the strain on his mortal body increases. This is the end for you! He has already pushed himself so far. And with no more allies to aid him, he cannot hope to recover again. If the glimmer fades from his eyes, it'll be over. Jiren's attacks are intensifying as well. He's got Goku pinned down. Quick, Goku! Get out of there while you still can! Hurry up! No more talk. Just shut your mouths and watch. <laughs> Worthless. <laughs> Something beyond my strength limit. <laughs> Goku seems even more amazing than Jira now! <laughs> yes! Now he is super, duper, super amazing! 
Indeed, sires. He has arrived at something truly superb. Please? Goku's done it, hasn't he? He's finally achieved it. Yes! It's astounding. This mortal really is something else. Look at that brilliant form. There can be no doubt. This is Autonomous Ultra Instinct! You're wide open! You're wide open! It's not possible! I cannot lose! I won't accept defeat! Might makes right and might alone! Strength, we have nothing! If I don't win, then all my... This is everything! That power is ferocious, like a firestorm! Jiren's energy is climbing even higher! This will end it! Tell me how. How you stand up no matter how many times you fall! Answer me, Goku! Because Vegeta, and Seventeen, and all the others gave everything they had, so I could keep going. If I do quit, I betray that trust, and I refuse to let all of them down. It's useless! Your ideals mean nothing in the face of my power! You say they don't mean anything. I'll show you that they do! Impossible! How is he doing this? That should be obvious. Goku can reach these heights because he's not just fighting for himself. He fights for all of us. That's the difference. Niccolo is right. Behind every one of Goku's strikes is a whole community of people who've grown up with him. Strengthening him over a lifetime of unimaginable challenges. Each one has been crucial, inspiring and pushing him forward. Goku doesn't imagine for one minute that he's gotten this far on his own. He's pushed all of us forward too, shaping us into the people we are today. Even as he fights his opponents, he has a funny way of drawing them in. That's just the kind of man Goku is. This is our power, Jiren! <sighs> to hell <laughs> It's impossible! It's finally over. Jiren, he's... Goku beat him! I won? We did it! Jiren! Uh, 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 oh. 